Hello, I'm Justin Mack with Eason LED Video Displays. I'm here today at Full Compass to talk to you about our LED video displays. I'd like to talk to you about the Nova Pro HD and the value added benefits it can bring to the table when controlling your LED video display. Now, one of the first advantages of the Nova Pro HD is the Nova Pro HD has a built-in video scaler. What this allows you to do is take any source, video source into the Nova Pro HD from one unit and have it displayed on your LCD wall. So for this first example, you'll notice here on my computer display, on my LED wall, I only have partial of my computer display. Now this is the actual pixel representation of the LED screen behind me. I have 384 vertical pixels and 640 horizontal pixels. But I really want to see my whole computer on the LED display. The 660 controller does not have a video scaler. However, the Nova Pro HD does. So in order to see my entire computer, dis computer on this display, I'll do a couple steps. I'm going to go to output settings. I'm going to enable zoom and I'm going to go down to where it says auto fit to screen and I'll enable that. And now on the screen behind me, you can see exact representation of my laptop on this LED video display. But that's just some of the features of the Nova Pro HD. The first thing you're going to notice on the back of the Nova Pro HD is all the connectors on the back are locking connectors. All the ethernet ports are all ethercon locking connectors. The USB for local control, again, is a locking USB connector. Let's look at the video inputs. There's DisplayPort, HDMI, DVI, VGA, Composite, composite Broadcast Sync, 3G HDSDI, in, and you also have a loop through and you also have gen lock in and a gen lock loop through again we talked about the four ports all locking ethercon for a locking connector you also have a dvi loop, loop out and you also have a dvi output for a local monitor so you can see the video source coming in and your monitor to verify that you have signal also built into the Nova Pro HD are four fiber ports. So all you need to do is put in a fiber module, fiber cable, and you can control a screen up to nine miles away. Now, let's look briefly at the front menu. On the front menu, you can see that there's a lights that indicate which source that I'm live. Right now, I'm live on my DVI source so the DVI light is green. I also have the ability to do a picture in picture with another source. And again, you can enable picture in picture and then select a source to do the picture in picture. Looking at the front menu, you can see I have brightness control, just like on the 660, screen setting, I can do th my, my three columns, or sorry, three rows by five columns, and control my, and change the data flow from the front. And also tell it out of port one, how many of the screens I'm controlling. But again, at this menu, if you take a look, you have much more other options, a little bit more control from this front menu than you do the 660. Again, there's a lot of value added features of this controller compared to the 660. Also with this controller, this controller can be controlled by a DMX. It can be controlled by a lighting console. With the lighting console, you have the ability to control your brightness levels, your red, green, and blue levels, your hue, your saturation, and also your gamma curve, all from a DMX lighting control console. You also have the ability to control this unit on a local area network. With the 660 controller, you can only control it locally by a USB, control, by a USB cable with a PC. 
Here, we can log into this box, set it up on a local area network, and log into it remotely. You still have the option to control it locally with a USB cable. For more information on the Nova Pro HD, please visit fullcompass.com or call your Full Compass agent. Thank you very much.